Hello everyone, welcome to lesson number four of beginner piano lessons found at pianovideolessons.com. In lesson one, we learned the key names of all the white keys. And in lesson two, we learned the finger numbers. So if you don't know those yet, you should please go back to lessons one and two. And now we're on to lesson four, where we're going to learn to play hot cross buttons in two different keys, starting off in the key of C. This information is available for print at pianovideolessons.com, and if you would like to just check the video description, you can get the link to the direct page for this so that you can print out your own music. All right, so let's get started. When we play this piece, we're going to first play it in the key of C. And what that means is that C is the home note of this piece. So when it ends, it will end on C. And we're going to be playing with uh, first with our right hand. So if you did lesson three, you already know how to play hot cross buns on black keys using fingers four, three, and two. So essentially what we're going to do is transpose this song off of black keys and onto white keys. So if you look at these three black keys, or these two black keys, you can see that there are three white keys in between them. Tell me what note this is. C. What note is this? E. What note is this? D. Great. These are the three notes that we're going to play this song on. So let's find them on the piano. Here we have two black keys and three white keys in between. So we have C, D, and E. And in this song, we're going to use fingers two, three, and four, just as we did in the last lesson. So when you play on black keys, it's easy to stay on your fingertips because you kind of need to balance your fingers. But I want you to think of that same relaxed hand position with curved fingers and just move it over so that fingers two, three, and four are now on white keys. The distance is the same. I know it feels a little bit farther on the black keys, but they're at the same distance apart here on the white keys. So placing your fingers on the three white keys, this is the position you're going to play when you begin with your right hand. So the lesson on the page says, begin with right hand finger four on E. So here's right hand finger four on E. Now, the pattern begins with E, D, C, and then E, D, C. So let's try that. E, D, C, E, D, C. Very good. And the next line has four C's, four D's, and then the pattern again. So here we go, four C's. One, two, three, four. Now four D's. One, two, three, four. And then E, D, C. So let's try it from the beginning with a nice steady beat, no stopping. Great. And since this page is only written with letters, we could play it with either hand. So we're going to play the same piece again, beginning with our left hand, finger two on E. So let's do that. Place your two on E. And I'm actually going to play it one octave lower in the next two black key group down. So two black keys, C, D, E, left hand two on E. And it's the same thing. First we go down E, D, C. So here we go. E, D, C. Again, E, D, C. Now four Cs, one, two, three, four Ds. it tricky to play your finger four but the nice thing about this song is that we're playing it um, repeating it many times so you can use your wrist a little bit to help push into those notes and then D this finger is probably a little stronger because it does a lot more grabbing in regular life okay so one more time through with left hand E D C E D C C C C C is C. So now let's also learn to play hot cross buttons in the key of G. So if we finish on C in the key of C, guess which note we finish on in the key of G? Yes, 
we finish on G. So we're going to continue using the same fingers, 4, 3, and 2, in left hand and right hand, to play hot cross buns again in the key of G. And we're going to first locate the notes that we need to play this piece. So in this case, we're using notes that are found around three black keys. So here we have three black keys. And if you remember that babies say ga-ga, we have G-A. And we have the front door and the back door. So F, G, A, and B. And here they are, F, G, A, and B. So when you see F, G, A, B, you can find them on the white keys here, F, G, A, B. So we only need three of those notes to play hot cross buns. We only need B, A, and G. And G is our tonic, or our home note in the key of G. So let's find out what it says here. Begin with right hand finger four on B. So let's find that on the piano, four on B. And now we can make sure our hand is in a relaxed and curved position. And it's the same, uh, the same sound, the same song, and we're going to have B-A-G with 4-3-2. B-A-G and B-A-G at the end, and then we'll have four G's and four A's. So let's try that, beginning with finger four. Here we go. B-A-G. Let's try it with the left hand. So it says, then begin with left hand, finger two on B. Left hand, finger two on B. Take it to the piano. You can play this anywhere on the piano that you want. Let's try it way down here. So finger two on B, three black keys. B is just on the, on the, on the right. So here we go, starting with B, starting with left hand, finger two, nice curved fingers. And here we go. B, A, G. B, A, G. G, 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 A, 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 A. B, A, G. Lovely. All right, so now we know how to play the hot cross buns in three different keys. We can play it in the key of black keys, which could be the key of F sharp or the key of G flat. We can play it in the key of C, and we can play it in the key of G. Now, if you wanted an extra challenge, you could try to play all three versions of hot cross buns with both hands at the same time. Excellent. So join me next in lesson five, where we're going to learn to play a new song, Mary Had a Little Lamb, and we'll begin with it on black keys. And if you would like to learn to read notes, please check out my note reading crash course, where you will begin to learn to read notes one note at a time. And it's a workbook, so you can actually do some writing in it as well. You can find that at pianovideolessons.com. All right, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in lesson five.